Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I am back to cast another 2v2 match for you. This one will be on Monolith Ridge, or Monolith Ridge. Have you ever noticed that? That in uh, this map name, it's not Monolith, like uh, in 2001, the Space Odyssey, it is Monolith. That is really weird. I always thought that was weird. Anyway, because um, I guess there aren't really any Monoliths. Uh, okay, that's enough. And let's introduce the players. It will be V-Ray. The red Zerg player and his teammate will be Tojam, the blue Terran player, and their opponents will be Jaka Makala, the teal Zerg. I'll probably be calling him Jaka or something like that, or Jaka, or I'm just going to stop. And his teammate will be Manor Chomp, the purple Terran. Now, everybody on this channel I have cast before, I think, except maybe Jaka. I know I've cast V Ray a couple of times. But um, both ToeJam and Manitomp have sent me replays, and they've been quite exciting. So I am definitely looking forward to this matchup. If you guys did notice, I recently cast a game uh, with ToeJam, and I think his partner was I Win to Lose. And they, uh, they played Sorcery and Legend, and that was a really, really exciting game. So if you haven't checked that out, you should definitely go check that out. And it has been a while since I've cast Manitomp, maybe a few weeks, and he is an exceptional Terran player as well just like toe jam so it will be a mirror matchup of zt versus zt and you know what that means i expect to see zergling hellion although uh, i would normally expect to see zergling hellion but i think we are starting to evolve a little bit away from that uh, people are starting to figure out <clears throat> excuse me people are starting to really figure out a lot of counters to that <clears throat> as uh, there are definitely some ways that you can preemptively counter that kind of build um, you know, definitely going for roach, things like roaches and marauders quickly can counter that. Um, it all depends on how uh, you can deal with the ling pressure at the beginning. So we'll see. It actually looks like Jaka is going to be throwing down a very, very early spine crawler out here. So an interesting placement of that. It will leave his mineral line slightly exposed. So perhaps he's banking on not many zerglings running by there. As V-Ray, on the other hand, has been he is making zerglings and going for that zergling speed and now if we check toe jam he is already going for that reactor and he has this uh he has a lot of gas already going so i expect actually to see some hellions out of toe jam he does have a reactor on this uh barracks here so there are definitely going to be hellions coming out of toe jam it's just a matter of where he goes from there as if you did to the last game uh some exceptional banshee play from toe jam so perhaps he will go for banshees after that meanwhile a uh, manor chomp is just now throwing down his factory and he's been pumping out some marines so interesting 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 manor top i do not believe it's going to be going for hellions he is likely going to be going for marines and some fast siege tanks that is my guess right now and so the right team could be in trouble here pretty soon if there are some hellions and zerglings on the way as Mana Trump really just has a bunch of marines here and those are going to be vulnerable to hellions when they get there and Jacques throwing down an evolution chamber super early ev evolution chamber he already has his roach warren finished so he's going to be pumping roaches you see four of them on the way and he is, looks like he's going to be going for some fast upgrades for those roaches and here comes V-Ray Zerglings he's going to run in here and be like man what is going on there are no Zerglings to meet me and these roaches are going to pop out here and could the roaches catch a uh, toe jams hellions off guard he is able to get one round of shots off and soften up that one hellion zerglings meanwhile are going to be uh testing the front over here and they are going to find out that there is a bunker back here full of marines so that is not going to work and they are going to fall back i'm not sure what jaka is talking about right now because as you guys know if you've been watching my channel i am incapable of multitasking basically i cannot read stuff and then talk about other stuff or continue my train of thought at the same time so I'm not going to read that and I will rewatch uh I'll read that when I rewatch myself and make fun of all the stuff I miss. And so um Hellions are just gonna stay around here and sort of set up a contain it looks like. Um well <clears throat> Manorchomp though he has uh thrown down a starport, a second starport going down. Cloaking is already on the way so we definitely are gonna see some cloak banshees out of Manorchomp. Meanwhile Tojam has gone for that infernal uh pre-igniter upgrade so uh, so toe jam and uh toe jam and v-ray could be in a lot of trouble when these banshees arrive for mana chomp so <clears throat> i really like this play he also is throwing down an engineering bay so he probably is worried about some banshees from toe jam 
And so he is probably going to throw down a missile turret uh, or two in his mineral line. <clears throat> as this Banshee is now halfway across the map, and it is going to get scouted, I think, by Tojam. Did he see that Banshee? Sorry, I was a little late on the vision. I think these Hellions saw the Banshee. They are doubling back right now, and I think they saw the Banshee. Either way, the Banshee is here, and Cloaking is almost finished for Manor Chomp. Excuse me there, and he tried to prevent this missile turret from going up, but it is going to go up. And so Tojam is able to get three missile turrets nicely placed around his command center here, but this area is completely vulnerable to the Banshee. He's going to be going after this tech lab. However, the uh, the upgrade has already finished for that pre uh, Infernal Pre-Igniter, so we'll have to keep an eye on that Banshee. And now a bunch of Hellions are going to come in here into Jaka's base, but look at these Roaches are in pretty good position to deal with this. Hellions are going to try and get some shots off on the drones. A nice reaction time though from Jaka. Thuddy moving the drones right back into the mineral line, and they are clumping up for these Hellions. A lot of drones just died for Jaka, perhaps unnecessarily. Actually, he wanted to run his drones around this side, but he blocked himself in with this evolution chamber and the drones automatically doubled back and we was just like oh crap man they ran right in the hellions but he did kill all of the hellions with the roaches meanwhile what happened to that banshee um there are two banshees now sitting here for manor Tomp, and he is going to try and harass the zerg base there's four crawlers positioned nicely for v-ray he's also going for a hydralist then back there but it looks like these cloaked banshees will be able to kill <laughs> whatever that was going on there. Sorry, I missed that. And so now Manor Chomp even has some Viking support. He's going to be killing Overlords. This Banshee is in a lot of trouble, Manor Chomp. He forgot about that one, and I wonder if that was what Jocko was. Dude! Dude! Your Banshee's getting shot by a Spore Crawler, man. And sorry, sorry, I have to do that voice occasionally, especially when someone does all caps on Dude. Uh, as I've already uh, heard people complain about my voice changing uh, just for the hell of it so whatever if you don't like it too bad sometimes my voice is going to change as it looks like Manor Champ is going to fall back his partner uh, Jaka not very impressed with the fact that he lost that Banshee so we'll see what they do about it see if they can come back from it Jaka is saying keep air superiority man come on man okay I'm not going to do another voice he is pumping out two overseers here very interesting there. I wonder what he's going to do with those. As now Manor Chomp is going to come in here and see what is the haps. And he's going to go, oh look, we still have no air defense around all these production facilities. So I'm just going to take out stuff. And these reactors take so long to build and he is going to kill those. And moving some Vikings down here to make sure there are no more Vikings coming out to support him. He's going to cloak up these Banshees to avoid Tojam's Vikings from up here and these Vikings will be chasing down those Vikings meanwhile it is going to be some Roach on Roach action there is a bunch of Hydras though out here for V-Ray these Hydras are so 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 slow off of creep and Manishon landing some Vikings and that could have been a mistake there he did lose a couple of Vikings but these Cloak Banshees are going unchecked they are ripping through the Hydralis and Jaka's Roaches taking out those Hydralis and now the left team is up against it these Hellions are not going to be doing much against a giant ball of roaches. More hiders are trying to come out. Groove spines are completing for V-Ray, but I think it is going to be too late. Them some nice banshee harass from Banner Chomp really put the left team on the back foot. As apparently that is my phrase for the day. As you'd be surprised at this level of play, um, how much difference it can make to force the opponents to make all these freaking spore crawlers and missile turrets all over the place. That's a lot of extra minerals. They are pouring into that static air defense and still, um, still Manor Chomp has been able to harass these production facilities and keep uh, a toe jam at bay. There's really nothing he can do at this point. I mean, he could, he could have maybe thought about lifting this building off originally and trying to put it over here by these missile turrets, but the problem is the Vikings could have done so much damage to it in that process it may have even died. And now Roaches for Jaka are really cleaning up in V-Ray's base. These four colors, unfortunately, Cannot attack the Roaches, obviously, and GG's go down. So it looks like that is going to do it. V-Ray just wants to sacrifice his drones because he can, and he is probably upset right now, getting owned by some Banshees and whatnot. So, <clears throat> by the way, I think all these players... <clears throat> excuse me there. I think all these players were set to random team. So it's funny how uh, so many good players can get stuck in one game 
when they are random teams. I'm sure somebody will find a reason again to call everybody in this game a noob. But hey, I thought it was an exciting game. Thank you, Manichop, for sending me this game. Sorry it took me a while to get around to, but very exciting nonetheless. And so that is going to do it for me. This is Irie Starcraft. Go Lakers, baby!